Hello everyone, my name is Trevor. I am an onboarding engineer here at SkySiv, and in this video we'll be going over a tutorial on how to model a gable roof in SkySiv Structural 3D. Now obviously there's countless ways to generate geometry for any structure in Structural 3D, but we're going to try and showcase some of the more useful yet underutilized features. Uh, so with that in mind, let's get started. So here we have a blank and brand new Structural 3D file. Um, and as we as we generate this roof profile and as we generate the roof, we'll go over a variety of different options along the way. So take note of which uh, options are most appealing to you. Uh, what we're going to do is generate the triangular geometry in 2D first. So we can see that my, my axes, uh, X and Z are my horizontal uh, axes and Y is my vertical. So we're going to set it to the X, Y axis. And we'll just do, let's see, front. There we go. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just generate a node at zero, zero. For this project, we're going to be using a relative member function. And basically what this does is create a member relative to the starting node that we've selected. So if we click on add relative member, it's going to give us this prompt here. There's two ways to do it. You can either put in the change in position between your node and the next node, um, or we can go to this drop down. make sure we click on XY plane. So this now we're, we're looking at the XY plane. And basically what it's asking is from this point, from the X axis, positive counterclockwise, what is the angle of our member and what is the length of that member? So this way you don't actually need to know the actual coordinates of the ridge node if we're talking about creating our, our, our triangular uh, roof profile. So in this case, let's assume a roof pitch of four to 12, or you know, let's say 18.5 degrees, comma. We can put in our, our, um, the length of our member. So if we just put 15 feet, hit enter. Now it's generated that, that ridge node here. So if we wanted to continue, we can see that this next node is selected. So we can con continue chaining these. So if we want it, we can just put a negative on that, press enter, and now we have our, our profile. And then basically using the pen tool, which is probably the most useful tool, is uh, what we can do is come over to the pen tool here, make sure you swap from the plus to the pen, and then just grab a node. And you can see the red dots indicating we're tra traveling along the x-axis, bring it over to the other side, and there we go. Just like that, we have our triangular profile. Now, obviously, if you didn't know the uh, length of the roof member itself, what you can do instead is use that same function and we'll grab the node, right click, add relative member. What we can do instead of using the uh, angle and the, um, here, let's clear this field, angle and the length, we can just use the relative position. So delta x, we can say, you know, if you know it's 10 feet in the run, but it's only you know, two feet in the Y, obviously zero feet in the third dimension. You click the green button there. You're going to generate that same node. And then similarly, you can continue chaining that. So we can go um, 10 more in the X, minus two in the Y, press enter. And then again, using the pen tool to close that off. So a couple of different ways you can create that triangle geometry. So now that we have the profile of our geometry, what we can do is we can um, create the rest of the structure. So if we control and drag our control, click and drag our mouse, we can grab our entire structure here. And what we can do is we can go to the edit operations and repeat. Or again, if we have stuff uh, selected here, we can right click, we go down to repeat. And now we can generate the third dimension. So we want to do a linear repetition and, you know, we can do as many rotation repetitions as we want. So if there's only, if you only wanted to create the two ends of it, it would just be obviously one repetition, but just for sake of example, we'll show, let's say four repetitions at 10 feet and we want to do the negative Z axis or positive Z axis really doesn't matter to you. Um, and then we want to, we don't have any loads. We can un uncheck this and we don't have any supports. So we can uncheck this. Uh, but we can connect the nodes with the members if we'd like. So we'll hit submit. And now we see there's our, our roof structure with our long member here, long member on the other side. And these would be all of our trusses, truss elements here. So the second way we can do it here, I will uh, again grab 
our member, our, our profile here. We'll do the duplicate or repeat function, except we'll just do one repetition. We'll do 40 feet, Z axis, connecting the nodes. That way we just have just this, this type of, of roof. We don't have the interior members, but what we can do is take advantage of this function called the span members function. So if you select one member and you control and click or control and select another member that is parallel with that and in the same plane, we can again, we're, we're always coming back to the right click basically, but you can right click and there should be a, a, an option called span members. And basically what this is, is just a really easy way to put a, num put a number of uh, repeatable members in between these two. So, um, you know, how many spacing we want to add, let's say 10. And now we've generated just the members on that one side. So th this is what gives you a little more control of where the members go. But we can really do, we can do that with any parallel members. So we can do it on the other side as well. And then we can do it between the two bottom cords of each side too. And that's kind of our the same structure we had before, similar to it. So from here, you'd be able to take advantage of the pen tool, you know, other other selection tools, other modeling tools um, to finish out your model, add loads, etc. But that's just a quick run through of a, a couple of different methods to generate a gable roof and its geometries. And as I mentioned before, there are really countless ways to get to this point in SkySiv. Um, so explore the operations, explore the right click functionality, uh, and then other tools like operations and stuff like that to find the most effective way for you. Um, this was a pretty short video, but we hope you found it useful or insightful. And if you did, please give it a like and a subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content and make sure to follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook for even more interesting stuff. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you guys on the platform soon.